Welcome to Dr. Tarazi's Math Site. This video is one of a series covering the released Ohio State math questions between 2017 and 2023. Geometry makes up almost one third of the test questions. Standard 8.G.5. Understand congruence and similarity. Use informal arguments to establish facts about the angle sum and exterior angle of triangles, about the angles created when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, and the angle-to-angle -angle criterion for similarity of triangles. For example, arrange three copies of the same triangle so that the sum of the three angles appears to form a line, and give an argument in terms of transversals why this is so. Hello and welcome. Here is what you need to know before we get to the examples. Some of the interior angles of a triangle. Here we have a triangle and A, B, C are the interior angles and I am interested in knowing what is the sum of these three angles. And we have a very important theorem that you need to remember. Theorem one. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Remember this number, 180 degrees. <coughs> so if you uh, cut this from here, from here, from here, and rearrange them here, you find out that they make a straight line. And a straight line means 180 degrees. You can try it on your own to see it this way you can remember the theorem the sum of the three um, angles interior angles is equal to 180 degrees in triangle if two angles are given we can find the third one because we know the total is 180 <coughs> so i have uh, here several scenarios the first one is very classic easy so what is the value of x? Here I'm giving the two angles here, and I need to find x. So I use the theorem. x plus 45 plus 55 equals to 180. Like terms, add them up, then subtract 100 from both sides. x is, is 80 degrees. x is 80 degrees. Here's situation, scenario number two, what is the value of x? This is 120, and you might say, wait a minute, I only have one, the measurement of one angle. How can I do the, pro the solve the problem? See, since you have this thick uh, uh, marks here and here, that means this triangle is isosceles. These two sides are equal, then these two angles are equal. So whether they said it to you or not, you just go ahead and put x here too. Then you have x plus x plus 120 is 180. 2x plus 120 is 180. Subtract 120. 2x is 60. x is 30. So this is 30. And this is 30. Check your work. 30 plus 30 plus 120 is equal to 180. Here's another situation. What is the value of x? Here you can say, wait a minute, they did not give me any numbers here. They don't need to because this is an equilateral triangle. These th three tick marks tells you that this side is equal to this side is equal to this side, which means all the angles are equal. So you put x here and you put x here, add them. 3x equals 180. Divide by 3, x is equal to 60. And remember, in an equilateral triangle, every angle is equal to 60 degrees. <coughs> Here's another scenario. I have this triangle, and um, uh, uh, what is the value of x? So you can say, when I have one measurement here, what about this? This, even if they say it or not, since you have a small square here that means this is a 90 degrees this is a right angle triangle so this one here is a 90 degrees now you can do the work x plus 25 plus 90 
equals 180, x is equal to 65. I like to do it in a different way. Since this one is 90, these two always add up to be 90 because that's a right angle triangle. Then you can say x plus 25 equals to 90. Subtract 25, x is equal to 65. Given three angles, do they represent angles of a triangle? All what you have to do is add them up. If they add up to be 180, then yes, the answer is yes. If not, the answer is no. Let's try 40, 70, and 60. Add them up is 170. So those are not angles of a, a triangle. And now if I have another example, 45, 70, and 65, add them up. You get 180, and that is yes, they are angle of a triangle. Exterior angles of a triangle. Now, if you have a triangle and you extend one of the edges, one of the sides, you create an outside, it's called exterior angle, this one here. These two are called it, the, the, the three of them are interior, but these two are called opposite interior angles. Opposite interior angles. Theorem 2. An exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So D here is equal to A plus B. D here is equal to A plus B. So how do you prove that? It's not too complicated. You have A plus B plus C is 180. We know that those interior angles of a triangle, they add up to be 180. Now also you have D plus C is 180. That's straight line, a straight line. So now if you look at here, this the same as this, C the same as this, then this D is going to be equal to A plus B. Vertical angles. When you intersect two lines like this, it creates what we call vertical angles, this one and this one, and they are equal. So these two angles are equal. They're called vertical and they are equal. Also, these two are vertical and are equal. Now, here's an interesting thing that you need to uh, really remember. If you have two parallel lines, and those kind of things are always on the test, okay? Two parallel lines and cut them with a line R called transversal. When you do that, you create eight different angles. Eight angles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two groups of angles here. One group is the small angles here, and they are all equal. And the large angles here, they're all equal. So one, two, three, four, all these are equal. Five, six, seven, eight, all these are equal. Now, here are what I call 180 degrees rules. Remember that number is going to uh, appear quite a bit here. So. If I add one and five, that's a straight line, I get, I get 180. One and six, same thing. Two and five, two and five, straight line. Two and six, straight line. Three and seven, three and eight. Four and seven, four and eight. Now, in addition to this, if I add two and seven, I get also 180 degrees. If I add three and six, I get also 180 degrees. Okay, so. Notes. I put this in some kind of notes here. This is an acute angle. And this is an obtuse angle. All the acute angles are equal. All the obtuse angles are equal. Before we do that, let's see. If we, if we know one angle, you can find the other seven angles, okay? If I know <coughs> one, <coughs> excuse me, one of them, I can find all of the others. So if this is 30, 
Then this one would be 150, 150, 30, 30, 150, 150, 30. You see now it's, uh, I'm sorry, okay, I'm trying to find my, my cursor here. Okay, wait, is this right here? Okay. Oh, I see what's happening now. All right, so if you add these two, 180. These two, 180. 180. 180. <clears throat> All acute angles are equal, okay? All obtuse angles are equal. And here's the trick. What, one acute plus one obtuse add up to 180. So this plus this 180. This plus this 180. Okay? Special case. Now, in case uh, the transversal is perpendicular to the lines, <coughs> excuse me, all these angles are 90. All of them are 90. That would be 90. Okay, that will be an easy case if they give you something like that <coughs> on the test. Transversal is perpendicular to the parallel lines. All angles are right angles, and each one of them measures to 90 degrees. Recommendation. To make the most of these videos, I suggest pausing the video when you see this button, solving the problem, and then resuming the video to check your answer. Example one. In this example, a, um, a figure is given to you, a diagram, and he's asking you to create an equation for z in terms of x and y. This is, look, this is z is an exterior angle. I know it's equal to the sum of the two opposite angles. So that's straightforward. Z is equal to x plus y. And you get a full mark for that. Z is equal to x plus y. Exterior angle. These are the two opposite interior angles. Example two. Here's a situation where you have parallel lines and transversal. And he's asking you to find the value of this angle here. Now, this is an acute and this is an obtuse they add up to be 180 so you just put 180 x is equal to 180 minus 64 equal 116 one if you want you can always you can also say okay this one here is 116 this one here is 64 this one here is 116 this one here is 116 this one is equal to 116. This one here is 64. 64. Okay? So the answer is 116. Example 3. Now, this requires a little bit of, of, of thinking, okay? They, uh, I need to find the missing angle. So this one here. So to find this, I need to find this. Now, always remember, uh, try to remember this vertical angles. So look at that. These two are vertical. So this, since this is 50, then this is 50. Now, from 90, okay, this is 90. Okay, what happened to my cursor? I keep losing my cursor when I use the pen. Okay, so okay, so this is 50. This would be 40, which is 90 minus 50. 90 minus 50 because this one is 90. It's 40 degrees. Example 4. This is very easy. Uh, line C intersects parallel lines M and N as shown what is the value of x remember the 180 rules i mentioned earlier these two add up to 180 180 one is acute one is obtuse so 180 minus 20 is 60 
Okay, so 180 minus 120 is 60, okay? Example 5. Okay, this one is very similar. They're asking you to find the value of x. So if you want, that's, a, that's an acute, that's an obtuse. So they add up to 180. This would be 150. Or if you want to get, this is 30. This one will be 30. And I know these two, 180. So 180 minus 30, 150. Example six. This is a last example. A diagram with the with line m parallel to line n is shown. Express the value of y in terms of x. Here, what they really want you to know, uh, to want they want to know if you have if you know that if you add these two, you get one eighty. So now, y plus three x plus ten is one eighty. Subtract ten gives you one seventy. Subtract 3x from both sides, so you get y is equal to minus 3x plus 170. If you want to check your answer, if x is 0, if x is 0, y is 170. This is 10, that's 170, that's fine. If x is 10, you have here 30, you have 40, 40, which means this one will be 140. x is 10. Minus 30, 170 minus 30 is 140. Thank you for watching. If you would like to have a copy of the PowerPoint presentation, please leave your email address in the comments section, and we will be happy to email you a copy. Thank you, and uh, see you soon. Thank you for watching. More videos to come. Please subscribe.